Hey guys, it's Lee in a fishbowl. How's it going? I know, I know, I know, I know. It's been like forever and I haven't done a vlog and I'm sorry about that. It's been just crazy. Um, sorry I'm driving here and trying to do this at the same time because it's the only time I have. Um, I'm almost home though. So, and I'm on like this one street. So, anyway. No lecturing. I'm going to change sides. Um, I wanted to do a quick update. I'm sorry if the air conditioning's running. Y'all, it is burning up. It's like 90-something degrees outside. Um, I'm on my way home with the big old fat watermelon in the back. And we've got a new above-the-ground pool. We went redneck this year and put a big above-the-ground pool um, in our backyard. So I'm on my way home to split open a watermelon for my husband and son who are swimming right now. But um, anyway, I just wanted to do a quick update. I'm sorry that I did not do one after I got ant flu um, about a week and a half ago, um, but I did. I was not pregnant last cycle, so the Femara did not work, um, but um, I'm on to my next cycle, you know, and quite honestly, this is really the bottom of the barrel for me as far as what I have left medication-wise um, in my fertility cabinet and what I was given by that friend who was so sweet to give me some meds. So, um, here's what I'm doing. Today is cycle day 10. I have been on Clomid cycles days 5, 6, 7, 8, and then last night was my last set of pills. I'm doing 100 milligrams, which is two pills, um, 250 milligram pills. I'm doing that. And then I am um, going to do, I had some leftover Brevel from a um, injectables IUI cycle that I did about a year and a half ago or really I guess it's been yeah I don't know anyway I don't remember how long it's been look at my charts it's all a blur four years you know it all blurs together but anyway um geez my hair sorry um but I'm going to do I have 75 I use I have three little bottles of 75 I use of Brevel so I'm going to get night sorry the neighbors must be having a party we weren't invited <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know those people. But um, anyway, um, I'm going to be doing the 75 I use of Brevel tonight, tomorrow night, and the next night. That's one vial a night for the next two nights. I've got an HCG shot on the way that I got um, from, and y'all can knock me if you want. I really don't care. Hang on. I'm going to stop right here before I pull all the way to my garage. Um, you can knock me if you want, but... Um, Hey, buddy. <laughs> my son's waving at me. Let me do my vlog. Um, I ordered it off of a website called Free Garage Sale. Um, you can go online and look. Google it and you'll find it and go into the medical section. And there are a lot of ladies who have leftover fertility medications that they sell. So, you know, judge me if you want. Don't judge me if you don't want. But um, I got an HCG shot for $50. It'll be here um, before I ovulate. So, it's should be here soon and I'm going to do that. So I know a lot of you are thinking you're crazy doing medications without, you know, a doctor monitoring you. Well, you know, oh well, if I get three, I get three. The odds of me getting anything, if one healthy being after four years and five losses is probably pretty slim. So I'm, it's not like, I mean, I've been on I've been on uh, 225 IUs of Gonal F a night for an IU, IUI and not had but mm, two or three follicles. So I'm really not worried about three little things of Brevel. I'm really, I'm just not. So, you know, say a prayer for me. Whatever happens, happens. But um, that's kind of where we are. Um, I've had headaches every day since I've taken the Clomid. That's really the only major um, symptom I've had with the medications, but other than that, I'm still on my prednisone. I'm going to do the Claritin and Pepsin after I get my ovulation um, confirmed with basal temperature and with my OPKs and everything. When everything, when Fertility Friend says I've ovulated and it's pretty solid and I know it, then I'll start my Claritin and Pepsin. Um, but I'm trying to think else, I'm taking all the supplements I've been taking. I'm still doing all of that. I'm doing really good on my diet right now. Um, I'm exercising regularly, counting my calories even on the weekends, which is pretty good. So I'm going to try really hard to do that, um, at least this cycle. But this is really it. After this, it'll be 
back to natural trying with no medication. So we'll just have to see. I'm praying for a miracle. I've done lots of Clomid cycles. The Clomid cycles that I did, two of them resulted in pregnancies. Um, one was my son, and the other was the 15-week loss I had in November of 2009. Don't come over here. Uh-oh, here comes my child. Hang on. I'm vlogging. What do you want? Can you say hi? Yo! Big fat belly. You know? <laughs> All right, go on. Let me finish this real hey, quick. Hey, um, me and Dad here in the pool, I just blew up the big smiley face ball. Okay, well, go do that. I'll be right there. Um, hurry up, he wants that watermelon. Um, anyway, uh, it's been busy. We've had day camp, um, every day, 7 5 30. I'm working and directing that camp, so I that's one reason I haven't vlogged, and I really apologize for not being better about it. I did want to give everybody an update because I've had some people asking, so anyway, like I said, if, if this cycle doesn't work out, then it's just back to trying naturally. And I did have what I was saying is that I've, I've taken like I've had. I've had probably way too many climate cycles in my time, um, and two of them resulted in pregnancies, so, um, it's been over two and a half years since I've had climate, so maybe, I'm just kind of hoping that maybe since it's been so long and it's been out of my system for so long, maybe this cycle will be really effective, whereas before it was like cycle after cycle after cycle, I don't know, I'm just guessing. So, my face is all broken out um, from the Femera last cycle, and it still hadn't gone. And I, it probably is part of this is because I'm sweating and it's so hot everywhere. But, um, yeah, <sighs> that's it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to tell y'all. Oh, my porch. I will update y'all on my porch because I had some people ask about that too. I did all those vlogs about deciding what to do on my porch. Well, I've nailed it down to a set that's at World Market. And I am patiently waiting on their sale to come that usually comes around 4th of July. So I'm hoping maybe next week or the week after that we'll get some really good sales. Right now it's on sale for 30%, but I'm pretty sure that um, it's going to go up to like 50 or 60% off soon. And then I have a 10% coupon I can use on top of the sale price that I got for joining the rewards. So when I get that, and then we're going to get our rug, and I'm, I'll get it all thrown up there, and then I'll do a vlog and show you with a finished product. So I think it's going to look cool. I hope it is. So you don't have to give me your opinions later. But, um... Anywho, um, guess that's it. So, uh, I do have a question. For anybody who's used the Clear Blue Digital, the Advanced Digital Ovulation Test, you know, the ones I did the, um, the, the little videos of last month, can you use the little digital thing again this cycle, or is it only good for one cycle? I've got five of the sticks and the little digital thing left, so half of what I paid for is sitting in my my cabinet and not been used so if you have experience in that let me know if that's something that you can do or do I have to go get a whole nother 30 or 40 dollar box and you know I don't know so because I really want to use them this time I do I do want to use them because I'm probably not going to trigger until I get that that peak fertility on there instead of when an OPK tells me positive because I think that that will be when my estrogen is at its peak, and that's probably the best time to um, to do the trigger. So, anyway, um, let me know about that. But I'll keep you posted. Wish me luck. This is it as far as medications, unless I go find something else <laughs> on freegarageSale.com. So, anyway, have a great Saturday, and we will um, talk soon.